Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how you can install PGSWU API plugin and OAuth token generation for REST API. Go to plugins, click on add new. Click on upload plugin. Select PGSWU API plugin zip file. Click on install now. Plugin install successfully. Activate plugin. PGSWU API requires the following plugins to be activated. So we need to install this plugin. Open, install active link in new tab. Copy plugin name. Click on add new. Now enter plugin name here. Click on install now button. Click on Activate. Click on Install Active Link. Copy Plugin Name. Click on Add New. Enter plugin name. Click on install now. Click on active. Now for auth configurations, go to app settings, click on API settings. We need to create client key and client secret for generating tokens. Go to users, click on application. Click on Add New. Enter consumer name. Description. Call back URL. Enter your site URL. Click on Save Consumer. Now we have client key and client secret. Copy client key to API setting. Copy client secret to API settings. Click on update. Click on below button to start token generation process. Click on let's go button. Click on below link to get authorization token. Click on get verification token link. Click on authorize button. Copy verification token. Enter verification token here. Click on continue. OK. Now we have the final token and token secret.
Now for default Wookomer API. We need to generate consumer key and consumer secret. Go to Wookomers, Settings. Click on Advanced tab. First check, WooCommerce Legacy REST API is enabled. Now click on REST API. Hit on Create an API key button. Enter description. Set permissions, read write. Click on Generate API key. Copy. Consumer key to WooCommerce API. Copy. Consumer secret to WooCommerce API. Click on Update. Now all set. Click on Test API. Hit Check button. PGSWU API working fine. So here we have successfully installed and configure PGSWU API plug. Now, we are going to set up Android application URLs and keys. Click on Credentials Code tab. Here you will get two options namely Android and iOS. Click on Android option. You will get the code for, URLs and keys for your store. Click on Copy button, the code is copied. Open Saya Shop in the Android Studio. Open Utils folder. Open URLs.java file. And paste and replace the code with the code in a file. The changes to URLs and keys are done. I click on the Run button. Once it gets run, open your device and check Saya Shop application. Congratulations, now set up for your store on Saya Shop Android is complete. Now, you can make the change in app setting in admin to customize application according to your choice. There are so many options available like logo change, color scheme change at extra in admin.